Hello anyone who might stumble upon this video. Uh, my name is John. I'm here in Southern Oregon. Uh, what I ultimately plan to do is I want to make a travel vlog channel. Um, travel through Latin America and just show what there is to see and, and meet cool people. But before I'm able to do that, I gotta get started somehow. And I've never really recorded a video before, so this is gonna be my first video. We're gonna go hike. Um, Table Rock is what it's called here in Southern Oregon. So it's a, it's a springtime right now. Um, so it's, it's pretty nice out, a little hot, but uh, it should be good. And I, I hope you enjoy my video. Okay, we are almost here. I just wanted to stop and show you. There's actually two Table Rocks. Lower over there and upper over here. You see how it looks like a table? There's two of them. We're actually gonna go to the lower one today. Um, I think it's a better hike, and um, I've been to the upper one a million times, so. Okay. Made it this far. Chose the hottest part of the day to come, of course. Let's see what we got here. It's a remarkable place. Nothing really much there. Table Rock's probably about 25, 30 minute hike, depending on the pace you go. Um, I tend to walk a little faster than some people, so. About 25 minutes is what it's been for me each time I do it. Okay, let's see. Born of fire. Look at the surrounding landscape and notice that over the table rock. Shaped by water. Um, I think for thousands of centuries, the Rogue River and nearby streams slowly eroded the lava caps and soft underlying rock. The erosion had removed approximately one cubic mile. Okay. Yeah, so these were formed um, from lava flows. Um, I guess there's some local people who think that they're tree stumps, but, <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, that'd be cool. That'd be, they'd be gigantic trees, but. Even the drive out here pretty beautiful I mean there's the upper one but um, especially in the springtime summertime sometimes are less enjoyable in southern Oregon because we've got fires all the time but um, right now no fires things are going good hmm Looks like there used to be a sign here saying something. Someone ripped it off or maybe it was removed for some whatever reason. The hike starts off pretty moderate. It gets more intense as it goes. But um, I'm about five, 10 minutes in. And I mean, other than it being hot outside, it's, it's nice. I don't remember this from being up here every other time, but all these flowers here, these purple ones, these are wild peas. And there's a ton of them. I don't remember this from the last times, but maybe I've never been up here this early in the spring. Not sure, but it's cool. They're nice, they're pretty. All right, I'm about 15 minutes in. And now we're getting a little bit more steep. I'm a little winded. I think there's going to be a bench coming up soon here. I'm going to take a little break there. Ooh, no bench yet. But another thing about being up here, if anyone ends up going up here, is with poison oak everywhere. Like all this, a bunch of poison oak. If you veer from the path, me, I don't get poison oak really that easy. But it's definitely everywhere, so watch out. All right, here we are. Checkpoint A. Feel out of shape, man. It's been a while. Probably about a year since I hiked this one, but man, looks good out here. 
Got some animals kind of running around in the brush there. Also, I noticed here, look what we got. Hot is hot? Not sure. H-O-T-T? -T? It's odd how people do these to the trees. I guess it's kind of cool, but whatever. Kind of see the top up there poking its head out. There we go. Finish line is within sight. This one's kind of open it up too. We can kind of see the other one there. Distant mountains. Nice day. All right, just in time. Time for another rest. It's so nice up here. I keep saying it's nice, but in Oregon, especially in the early spring like this, the weather fluctuates a lot. Like sometimes it'll be sunny and then five minutes later it'll be raining. And then five minutes later it'll be sunny again type thing. We just kind of hit the the part where it's just gonna be sunny pretty much until summer, I think. Maybe a few more rains, but for the most part, it's gonna get hot. <clears throat> I'm kind of on the lookout now. Some hikers just told me there's a snake up here further up the path. I don't know where, where exactly, but we'll see. No snake yet. Keep my eyes peeled though. I mean, I've not seen a snake up here before, so we'll see. Still no snake. You can see Mount McLaughlin though there, look at that. It's got the angel still right in the middle there. The top. Got a little more ways to go, I think. <sighs> Keeps getting steep and then going down. Keep getting steep and then going down. So green. Okay, this is really cool. There's like almost no sunlight. It's kind of all covered. But I think I'm coming up to the last stretch here. Let's see. Some little critter over there. Man, this last stretch is the hardest part of the whole hike. Okay. 
And this is it. We've made it. Here's my bluff again. I always think of, whenever I come up here, I always think of the African savanna. That's what it reminds me of. It looks like the all the documentaries you see. No lions, though. This is cool. I usually, most of the time, either go here for whatever reason. I'm, I always end up here going here in the winter or in the summer when the whole field's kind of dried up. It's actually much nicer earlier in the spring. Look at that. Pretty blue sky. Lots of contrails. But uh, pretty cool. You can actually go out to these edges here. Which is what I'm going to do here. And see if we can get some good shots. I kind of thought there'd be a lot of people here. Because when I parked, there were cars. There was a lot. I mean parking lot was almost filled but come up here and it's like silent doesn't look like anyone's up here they could be hiding though but uh it's very peaceful up here somewhere up here there's an endemic flower species um i don't know if i'm too late to catch them but i'll try to find one um it only grows on the table rocks which is pretty cool i mean i don't think it's too fancy of a flower but it is cool um, that it's endemic to the table rocks some birds up there I can't really see it some kind of bird of prey I love those things hearing this squealing that's what it sounds like i think it's some kind of bird call or something i've not heard sounds kind of cool somewhere there's an edge here i think i'm getting pretty close still no sign of that flower but I think it might actually be too late. It's reading something about it. I think it needs to be, there's like these pools um, at, in the end of winter up here. I think it needs to live at the edge of one of those pools or something. It's kind of rocky. Some kind of things. Scurrying off. Ooh, there we go. It looks like a vulture. The beak looked like a vulture. Watch my vultures are probably. Oh lizard there. Vultures are probably my least favorite of the um, birds of prey. Just because they eat dead animals. It's kind of, or they eat roadkill specifically, I guess. Animals that have already been killed by something else. Look at that. Coming closer to an edge is not my not where I was headed, but we're getting close. Look at that. Yeah. This is pretty much it. I think this is as far as I'm going to go. You get closer to that edge. It doesn't doesn't look as scary on with the camera, but certainly is to me. <clears throat> yeah.
pretty nice. Thought it was gonna be hotter than it actually is, which is a plus. I've heard people say before that there used to be a hole going through to the bottom of the mountain that they blew with dynamite. I'm wondering if, I, I heard they covered it up, but I'm actually wondering if this is what I'm looking at now. I've never even seen this. I think I just stumbled upon it. I'm curious to what it is, but I don't know. Whoa. One thing about coming up to Table Rock is I always forget the path I took. And so coming back down, it's always different. This is cool though. Finally found the path leading back. Maybe it's because the grass is a little higher this time of year, I'm not sure. I just end up kind of getting lost. I don't know what's going on with the ambulances, but I thought I saw a fire truck down there. They've been going on for a while now. Hoping there's not like a house on fire or something down the way. Might have missed him. Jackrabbit just jumped right across the path. Dang. He got away or maybe tied in there somewhere. That was cool. Where is he? Camera's not picking him up. Oh, you see his ear there. You can see his ears, but you can't really see his body. And that's him. This guy. Here's another one of these little guys. That was pretty much it. Uh, it's Table Rock. If you're ever in Southern Oregon, I definitely recommend you do it. If you know you're in the spring, summer, fall, the winter, it's not as fun. You can still hike it, but um, you know it tends to be colder and not as cool. You don't see as many cool things. But thank you for watching my video. If you made it all the way through, and um, I hope to have more videos soon.